Okay, let's turn to our second example now for speeding up test execution time, which is don't test through integration specs unless you have to. Try to test close to the source of what you're actually testing. Here's our example. So in this application, users can create posts. Admins can delete those posts, but users cannot. They can't even delete their own posts. I'll step through this test very quickly. We make a user, we make a post by that user and an admin. We sign in as that admin, go look at the post and click delete, and we should have deleted it. Users should go to that page and expect to not see a link for deleting. These tests pass, so we're working. And by the way, this sign in as method is just down here, but you can see it has four steps. Go to the sign in page, fill in some stuff, and then sign in. Now let's go look at the actual code that we're testing. Almost all the code that we saw, the setup and the signing in and the admin flag and whatnot, is because of this conditional right here. So you can imagine writing this feature and getting to this part where you're writing an if current user admin and thinking, okay, I need two integration tests, one for admins and one for non-admins to verify that admins see it and can click it and that normal users don't see it at all. The thing is, we have inadvertently chosen the slowest way of testing this conditional right here. We are doing so much work here. Uh, we are creating a database uh, three database records at least. And as I mentioned before, see how we're calling create here? This could, this could create 10 of its own records. So could this, so could this. Then we are signing in. We're visiting the sign in page and filling in a form and clicking it and waiting for the response. Then we get, go visit the post directly. Then we click a link. We're doing quite a bit of work. And the thing that we're testing is actually fairly small. This should set off alarm bells in general. When it feels like you have to do a ton of work to test a thing, chances are you're too far from that thing, in quotes. Like far is kind of a hard concept to understand, but it's we're, we're testing, we're reaching through the whole rail stack to test this one conditional in the view. So the question you should ask yourself is, is there a better way? And the answer is yes. So for me, when I have situations like this, I like to reach for R specs, view specs. So let's now write our own view spec to test this conditional right here, and we'll talk about the pros and cons. I'll pull open the spec first. So view specs look a lot like normal specs. They just live in spec views. So let's write out what we want to test. So like I often do, I'm going to write the spec from bottom to top. Our spec gives me a helper called rendered, which refers to the rendered view. In this case, it starts off empty because we haven't used the render helper method. So let's call that now. And here we are getting an error, which is that there's an undefined method title uh, for nil class. Now let's pop open the view and you'll see that up here we're including the post.title. So we need a way to actually set at post, which is not too bad. It looks like this. Now we have a new error, which is that there is an undefined method current user. And that is because we are asking about the current user here. And we're getting these errors because our spec is rendering this view in isolation. It's not using the full rail stack. So now we need to set what current user is. Now I happen to be using a gem called clearance for authentication on this application, which gives me a helper called sign in as that I can call to set this. And now I run our test and it passes. Now I don't like to see my tests just pass directly, so let's make it fail. Here's our error. Looks good to me. I expected it to have delete, but it did not. Now let's just flesh out our second test. Cool. We're green again, but like I said, I'd like to see my tests fail before they pass. So let's make it this just this test fail by deleting the conditional and coming back and running just this spec. Great. We expected it to not include delete, but it did, so we failed.
And by the way, we can totally use a technique that we just learned uh, two lines up right here. So we don't actually need a full user, and so we don't need to create a full user. Instead, we could just do this. And our test will still pass, shaving off even more time. Now let's compare and contrast this view spec approach with this integration spec approach that I showed originally. Let's do it with some pros and cons. Pros for the view spec approach, it's fast. On my machine, this view spec is about four times faster. I think in a full real world Rails app, the difference would be even more intense because of the necessity of creating these objects, which is probably quite slow. So it'd probably be more like six to 10 times faster. And notice here in these integration specs, I can't use build stubbed or doubles here because I actually need to sign in as that user, uh, as an admin, and then actually go see that post by that user. So the database actually has to have the right data in it, which means there's not really a shortcut around this object creation right here. Another pro of the view spec approach is that it's focused. Notice that the ratio of test code to the line that we actually care about is much better here. These tests are shorter and have less setup and have less going on in the actual execution. That's because this is basically a unit test. Next, let's talk about the cons of this view spec approach. And there's basically only one, which is that it's less thorough. So the integration test makes darn sure that the deletion link shows up for admins and that it actually works when you click it. Notice that our view specs over here don't actually click anything. They just make sure that the link shows up or not. So if I were testing something that were really important to get right and I was worried about it breaking, I would probably reach for an integration test as opposed to just a view test. And actually, these specs aren't ensuring that we have links, just the actual text delete. So if I were writing this view spec for real, I would assert that the delete text appeared in a link on the page. So those are the trade-offs to keep in mind. This is something that comes up a lot. Watch out for conditionals in the view causing you to write a giant amount of integration specs. It's a really easy trap to fall into, and you will save yourself a lot of effort and also test runtime by reaching for view specs instead. This is a great tool for your toolbox. One last thing I do want to mention before I leave this example. There actually is a small speedup you can do in these integration tests, which is skipping sign-in. So again, we're manually signing in by visiting the page and filling things in, but the authentication library that I'm using called Clearance and also Devise and all the other ones support the same thing, which is a backdoor in test mode. So rather than signing in as an admin, I can actually just visit this page as the admin directly and it skips the sign-in and those tests still pass. Also worth knowing about, just check the documentation for your authentication library. Okay, we're in the home stretch now. This is the last example for speeding up test execution time.